All right, what a great problem we have here. Uh, get your notebook ready, get some paper, get a new page, because this one's going to take some space. But this is a great problem. It is a rational equation. I have an equal sign. And on both sides of the equal signs, I have rational expressions, which means big fractions. And I can get rid of all of these denominators in one step. And that step is multiplying by the LCD, least common denominator. But first, I need to know what the least common denominator is. Well, I know it's going to have an x plus 5. I know it's going to have an x minus 5. But you know what? I'm not sure what this thing is. I need to have all of my denominators factored completely first. So let's go ahead and do that. First step is going to be to factor all of my denominators. All right, I'm going to have 1 over x plus 5, that one's fine, plus x over x minus 5, that one's okay, equals negative 10 over, this is a difference of two squares right there, x squared minus 25. So that's going to be my conjugates, x plus 5, x minus 5. Okay, and if you need to look that up, it's called difference of two squares. Now, my LCD is going to ha contain everything that would make these things cancel out. So I know I'm going to have an x plus 5 in there. I know, because of that one, I know I'm going to have an x minus 5 in there. And now if I use this as it is, I can see that my x plus 5 would cancel out. I can see that my x minus 5 would cancel out. And guess what? Both of these would also cancel out. So this is my LCD. Let's go ahead and use it. I'm going to multiply every term by that LCD. So this term times x plus 5, x minus 5. This term times x plus 5, x minus 5, and this term times x plus 5, x minus 5. Okay, now watch. You ready? LCDs are going to cancel out. Denominator x plus 5 and x plus 5, gone. Denominator, x minus 5 and x minus 5, gone. Denominator, x plus 5 and x minus 5, gone. Look at all of my denominators. They have all canceled out. So let's see what I'm left with. In the first term, I'm left with x minus 5 times 1. Well, that's just x minus 5. In the next term, I'm left with x times x plus 5 x times x plus 5. And then in the last term, I'm only left with a minus 10, negative 10. Now, if I don't look at anything else, don't worry about any of this stuff right now. If I'm just looking here, that's an equation that I'm going to solve with no denominators. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. Step 1, distribute. x minus 5 plus x times x is x squared plus x times 5 is 5x equals negative 10. Guess what kind of an equation this is? It is a quadratic equation. So to solve a quadratic equation, I'm going to need to set it equal to 0. Okay, first... After I distribute it, I should combine these like terms. 1x plus 5x is going to give me 6x. So I will have x squared plus 6x minus 5 equals negative 10. Okay, quadratic equation. I need that smiley face. I need to set it equal to 0. So to set it equal to 0, I want to get rid of a minus 10. To get rid of a minus 10, 
I will add 10 to both sides of the equal sign. On the left-hand side, I will have x squared plus 6x. Let's see, minus 5 plus 10, that's plus 5, equals 0. Okay, and what am I going to put in that 0? Smiley face. Now I need to factor what I have here on the left-hand side. Set all of my factors equal to 0. So when I factor this, it's going to be x and x, 5 and 1, plus and plus. Okay, if you need some factoring help, go look up factoring trinomials with a leading coefficient of 1. And now I have to set all of my factors equal to 0. So let me move this up here. I'm going to have x plus 5 equals 0. And I'm also going to have x plus 1 equals 0. So my two answers here will be x equals negative 5 and x equals negative 1. Two answers. Now, I have to make sure that neither of these answers would give me a zero in the denominator. Okay, look at my original denominators. And guess what? I have a problem. If I plugged in a negative 5 into, these, into the original equation, look at what would happen. What happens if you plug in a negative 5 right here? Negative 5 plus 5 is a 0, and you can never have a 0 in the denominator. So this answer will not work, and I simply scratch it out. Is the negative 1 okay? Sure it is. I could plug it in. I'll plug it into every x. I could plug it in here and here and here and here, and I will not get a 0 in the denominator. So the negative 1 is okay, and that is my only answer. I had two possible answers, but when I go to put in my answer, x equals negative 1. I had to check it.